Hey, hey, you guys, it's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all of you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Let me go ahead and try to get some soothing music on for us. If you hear the howling in the back, you guys, um, it's very windy here in Texas tonight. It's really cold. It's like 20 something degrees. All right. All right. So <clears throat> happy new year's to everybody. How's everybody doing? How's everything going? So let's start out with some messages from spirit to you, from your spirit guides to you guys. Y'all, that wind is out there howling, okay? <clears throat> All right. I'm going to say this because I was—I feel like I, I was led to say this earlier. Some of y'all have spirit animals, spirit protectors who are wolves. I heard, I see like some black wolves, some white wolves. You may see wolves a lot. You may have like a wolf tattoo, whoever this is for. Like your spirit, your animal totem. You may be like Native American or you have a lot of Native American um, ancestors. And you don't have to be Native American, but your protector is like a wolf, okay? So, <clears throat> book of knowledge, the book of destiny. So, you guys have a lot of sacred knowledge. Y'all, this card keeps coming out. That's how I know that chosen ones watch me. I have a lot of chosen ones energy, um, a lot of energy who's divinely protected and is chosen by God, by source, by divine to carry out a certain mission that requires you to have all of the sacred knowledge. And the fact that you guys have lived many, 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 many lifetimes. Okay, you guys are really old. And I'm not talking about in um, physically, spiritually old, spiritually seasoned. You've been around the block a lot of times, okay? <clears throat> so you guys are faced with people who, who think they know more than you. And people think you know everything and they think that you're arrogant, but you're not arrogant. You, you just, you can't help that you do know everything. You have, you're coming out as, your overall energy is the book of knowledge. You cannot help that you know everything. And I'm not talking about like, let me cut this down. This, this light is blinding me. <clears throat> you guys, I'm not talking about worldly shit. You know, a person can know a lot of worldly stuff. That ain't really nothing. But you have a lot of spiritual knowledge, a lot of, a lot, you know, a lot of unknown things. You know how the universe operates. You know how spirit operates. You, you, you understand the mystery of life and death. You understand a lot of things. You know, you know how the spiritual realm, realm operates. You understand God, God's love. The when God speaks to you, you understand you just hold the key to life's mysteries. You just know, you know? <clears throat> and sometimes you guys, if you have a lot, of, a lot of unawakened people around you, they will start to feel threatened by you. You guys, I'm, I'm telling you, like I have learned not to argue with people. I don't even debate people. <sighs> what Dr. Clark say, I only debate my equal everybody else I'm going to teach you I'm your teacher I'm not going to debate you if you're not my equal meaning that the universe spirit of your ancestors have not appointed you as as a leader you see what I'm saying you're not energetically my equal and I have a lot of I get attacked by a lot of low, low vibrational um energies who want to debate me and go back and forth with me and I just refuse to feed into it because where's what did I do with that card you guys yeah, with this, with this energy, you know what you know. You don't have to go back and forth with somebody on what the hell you know what God has told you. You don't have to go, you don't have to prove anything. So I pride myself in not, not trying to prove a damn thing to anybody. I, I let them think what they want to think about me. I don't even, I don't even care enough to defend myself at all, you know? I, I'm the messenger. I get the message out to who needs it. And I carry on with my day. My job is done. And if somebody don't like it, that's that take that's between them and God, not me. So, all right. Look at that. Be of service. 
know your truth. Oh my God. What, what is what, what am I just, what am I saying? I just said I have a lot of chosen ones that watch me. And since you are chosen, you have a lot of sacred knowledge. And in the position of being chosen, you're going to have a lot of haters. You're going to have a lot of people who don't want to hear a damn thing that you have to say. They're going to they're gonna accuse you of being arrogant, a know-it-all. But you are a fucking know-it-all. You can't help it. You know a lot of shit. It's just who you are. You're chosen. You, you have an extremely old soul. So it's like you are more you're not even really concerned with earthly issues you guys are more concerned with spiritual issues you see what i'm saying like you're here on earth to be of service and then i just say i was like you know i get attacked a lot when people try to attack me but it don't work because i don't feed into it but people want a response people will try to pick with you try to debate with you you're not gonna put yourself in no damn debate with me I'm a spiritual teacher. I'm a spiritual leader. You're not going to put yourself in a fucking debate with me. You know, if you want to debate with me, do the work, do the fucking work. You know what I'm saying? Come back and see me. Come back and talk to me when you've, when you've done the work and God has appointed you as such. Other than that, we can't even be on speaking terms for real. We don't even run in the same spiritual circle. I run in the circle of chosen ones. I run in the circle of high vibrational um, leaders and high vibrational um, future leaders. You guys are leaders and you just don't know. Some of you guys already know it, but others of you guys, you don't know that you're supposed to be using your energy to be of service, be of service. One spirit is saying, once you guys know your truth, this is why we're a soul family. This is why you guys are with my tribe. This is why we run in the same circles. This is why. <laughs> Give me one more. Thank you. <sighs> Release toxic relationships. So with that being said, I just said that you're going to have a lot of toxic people around you when you're chosen who going to try to, they want to debate you. They still operating very much 3D. So they're really concerned about 3D shit. You're not, we're not concerned about nothing 3D, you guys. We're only here in this 3D to be of service and that's it. Okay, look at that shit. Calmness is not a weakness. And I just said, I don't even argue with people no more. If you think I'm an asshole, you're right. If you think I'm arrogant, you're right. If you think I'm going to know it all, you're right. Whatever. Whatever. However you feel, you're right. I don't feed into it. Remain calm. Always remain calm. And if so, chance, if by chance I give you a response, I'm going to give you a healing response. I'm going to, I'm going to tap in. And I'm going to give you a real response. Not the response you're looking for. I'm going to give you something to take home and let that simmer and think and marinate on how, you know, it's possible that you're just projecting and you need to work on this, this, and this. Ground and meditate and breathe and everything is going to be okay. It's okay to be calm with people. I don't care if people try to poke the bear. You don't have to lash out. And when you speak, speak with love. So... And if nothing else, it's going to piss them off. People hate people hate when they are clearly provoking you and you hit them with that truth and that love and light. They fucking hate that shit, you know? All right, so let's tap in and let's see what is going on. What is the overall energy? Look like you guys have ended something after a while of um, procrastinating on it, after a while of getting in your head about it. What is going on? Some of you guys could be dealing with, a, uh, I almost said a star sign. <laughs> An air sign. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a situation where you didn't receive. I'm hearing a loss. This person kept, there. you waited around to receive what you put into a situation. And out of, out of all of these Pentacles that you invested, only one Pentacle fell off the tree. So you invested your everything into a situation. You, you invested consistently waiting to receive something that you did not receive. Also, this could be business as well. So a lot of you guys may be taking a different route on your business ventures. Yeah, you guys are in the fool's energy. You are all for new beginnings right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Ten of Pentacles. So this is this could be this could be a home life, a home situation, someone who you saw forever with, or you feel like you could actually live with this person, be with this person. And this is this could also talk about your your finances, your stability as well. You guys having to release something that you were holding on to for with for dear life that's going to lead you towards wealth, happiness, and achievements. Some of you guys may be cutting family ties. You're getting you're getting rid of toxic um, friends and family and things of that nature. Toxic lovers. What else? <clears throat> I feel like it took you guys a lot of courage. It took a lot of courage to walk away from this situation. What's the energy of this person's spirit? All right. Ooh. Oh, wow. Man, this person think that you're hot stuff. Like they think that you really got your shit all the way together. This person feels like you're an overachiever. They feel like you've been doing good without them. They feel like what they have to offer you is crumbs in compared to, um, to what you have built for yourself. This person is very mentally restless right now. All this stalking you is starting to play on their mental. You guys are choosing another route. The two of wands clarifying the full energy. You guys are choosing another route you're taking a leap of faith you're stepping out on faith and you're choosing a different route you guys you're doing something different you're you're, you're planning for your future so if anything or anyone does not align with your high values your high standards you are not entertaining them you're not entertaining this energy you're just not entertaining anything or anyone that is not of standard you guys Man, this person really kicked themselves in the butt, you guys, okay? With all this stalking energy here, um, I just heard mentally confused, um, feeling like they're in competition with someone else for your time your and your attention right now, you guys. They feel like they, they're they not going to win, like it's a, it's a, um, a no-win type of situation, an empty victory I'm hearing. you guys five of swords is clarifying five of swords oh wow this person is seriously in some type of conflict i feel like this is mental though betrayal loss so this this the betrayal from this person how they betrayed you has them feeling at a loss so the fact that they betrayed you, they end up losing. The fact that they try to break your heart, take you through, they lost. Damn, eight of swords. Didn't I say mental? Self-imposed restrictions to be lifted, isolation or bonds soon to be broken. Honesty brings change and beware of paralysis of analysis. They're overthinking it. They are, this person is paralyzed in their thoughts. Thank you, spirit. I grabbed these cards and, and that flew out. This person is paralyzed in their thoughts right now, you guys, because I heard dishonor. They dishonored you. Yeah, this person dishonored you. Hollow. This person could be very hollow right now on the inside. Very empty. All right. Let's see. What spirit want to say? <laughs> Loneliness. They're lonely. They're hollow. They're empty. I'm feeling a burn of loneliness, but I'm ashamed to admit it. Yep, this person is lonesome. They're lonesome right now. I'm feeling broken and can't stop these racing thoughts. I just said this person is paralyzed in their thoughts about you. Detach, y'all detach. Um, detach. <clears throat> I'm emotionally closed off, so I don't feel my past wounds. So you guys have pretty much detached from this person. You you took your broken heart and you detached from them. You guys are currently working on mending your heart, mending your broken heart, repairing it, putting it back together at this time. Yeah, 
you're you're remaining detached from this person because you don't want to feel you don't want to go back down memory lane you don't want to feel that that hurt no more it took some strength to do so this is a robot's hand it took some strength to gather and put the pieces of your heart back together and to detach from this person it took some strength i'm calling you because you're the only person that you're the only one that captures me. The, okay, so you're the only person, you're the only one that this person has this type of connection with. And this person is like open to seeing things from a new perspective. It kills me knowing that there could be someone else in your life. I just said this person is in, they are in this mental conflict as well because they feel like that they now have to compete for your time. Whereas in the past, you were. You was giving them all of you. You gave them all your time, your effort, your energy. Like you gave this person everything. And they now feel like they have to compete. Yeah. This person is 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 they're starting to be obsessed. Obsessed. This is some obsessive energy, you guys. Hmm. Let me pull <clears throat> one more message before I extend this. If this is your story, you guys, follow me over to the extended. I'm going to see how this situation is going to play out. What is going to be this person's next move? Should you wait on this person? Is it worth waiting for? Is this person going to return? What can you expect from this person when they return? Yep, look at that. What the hell? But we about to, we about to figure out what the hell is going on over in the extended, you guys, okay? All right. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Hit the notification bell. So when I post a video, you guys will get an alert. Also, you guys, if you have not um, participated in the Honey Pot Raffle, go ahead and do so. The link is in the description box. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, it's a blessing pot, you guys. The tickets are $1.11. Each week, we hold a computer-generated raffle, and the winner wins the pot. Also, you guys, check out my Etsy shop where you can find all of my divine trinkets, okay? All right, I love you guys. Peace.